does skip that and it's um, pretty easy to navigate past. Um, another good website if you're a designer and you like um, and you ha have uh, Adobe products uh, this is a really cool website it's um, a video workshop and um, you got all the different types of um, all the CS3 programs and you can just go through them all and see select um, Photoshop CS3 or CS3 Extended and then you've got all these topics over here so you can go down to CS3 you got all these like 3D animation and stuff like that so you click on um, application design you can see modify menus and it'll give you what products you have to use what, if it integrates with different products it'll show you so you can just click into 3D and you got um, all these different ones so just Photoshop exclusive and then you've got some with vanishing point um, in After Effects, stuff in Bridge, and um, yeah, it's really useful if you want to do stuff. So yeah, now I've done. So there's loads and loads of different topics that you can get. So if you're stuck with using um, a Photoshop product, not Photoshop product, an Adobe product, you can just go to this um, and it'll get, show you the basics and stuff like that. So yeah, you can just click play video. And it'll come up in a flash thing like this, and um, yeah, it's really useful. Um, the last one I want to load, uh, show you is this um, a GIF loader. So say you've you got something that you go. It's a two, web 2.0 website, and say you wanted like a loader for your flash website or something. It's got loads of different styles you can have for a loader icon so while your site's loading you can have all these different sorts and um, you just choose one so you say um, I'll choose this one um, you can choose the background colour and this you just clicking down this will pop up so you go to your slider and say you want it that sort of green or whatever or you could choose to have a transparent background, you have a foreground colour, just change that to uh, blue, like that. Just click generate it. And it'll come up here in the preview. Just click download it. And it'll come up here. And you just download that and um, extract it. If you, yeah, it's um really good resource for stuff. It's um only in the beta mode at the moment, but it's um still pretty good. Hopefully, when it's fully released, they'll have um, quite a few more styles that you can choose from. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, and um, yeah, the last Firefox add-on that's um really cool that you should definitely have is Stumble. On. You go to here, you can, this takes you to the main website. And here you've got to um, download it. You can download it for Internet Explorer or Firefox, which um, is pretty cool. And then all you do is you join it, you sign up with your email address, choose your username, birthday, stuff like that. And then once you've done that, um, I'll just log, I'll just go open my toolbar. And if I just go to my profile. You can, um, yeah, you just customize it and then, um, there's um, all these different preferences and stuff that you can have. So, if you went, once you signed up and you sign in on here, you go to your, um, 
think it's profile preferences. No. Uh, hang on, let me just find this. Ah, right. You go to tools and update topics, and um, yeah, you just it's got. If you just um, you got all these different categories. Down here is scroll through all, so you can just go to computers, let's say, and you've got all these different types, so you can choose all these different things. So you can check Windows, um, hacking if you're really into that or something, programming, PHP, whatever you want, and then um, you just go down to the bottom, click Save My Interests. And then now, whenever you click this stumble button, it'll take you to a random website to do with one of those links, one of those interests that you selected. And um, it'll show, show who it's rec been recommended by. And all these, you can click. Um, I like it if you like it or if you don't you just click the thumbs down yeah and then um, say you've got this active and you go to YouTube now it'll load YouTube but you'll see this little icon here now if you click that it'll give you a random YouTube video so you see it here you see here you've got your YouTube icon there but you can't be bothered pressing that all the time, so you can just click this stumble and the YouTube icon appear there. You can also select the different channels from here, whatever you want, and it'll just search from them. So you could just search Wikipedia or something like that. It'll just come with a random page from Wikipedia. And it's just something that's really cool to have. It's a um, fun thing to do when you're bored, and um, for some strange reason it's really addictive so um, yeah this is a tutorial by comp tips and um, I'll see you next time